Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a strength training program that I wrote myself using the training principles taught to me by Louis Simmons. This is the Saturday workout. It's going to be the dynamic effort squat and deadlift workout. You're going to perform it for six weeks. And with regard to the exercises, your A's and your F's, these are going to be your other exercises or your warm up and your cool down. Your B exercise is going to be your dynamic effort exercise. Your C exercise is also going to be another dynamic effort exercise. Then your D exercise is going to be an accessory exercise. Your E is going to be another other exercise. And then lastly, your G is going to be a bonus exercise. Now we're going to get into the exercise themselves as well as the acute exercise variables but first real quick like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help me out and help it with the algorithm and if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content now let's get into the actual exercises your a's as stated are going to be your other exercises or your warm-up and your cool down and for it we are going to be supersetting the reverse nordic curl with the nordic curl for both of them we're doing two sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using 70 percent of your one repetition maximum so whatever you can lift for one repetition you're going to pick 70 percent of that weight and we're going to perform them at a 4020 tempo and resting 60 seconds seconds in between each set 4020 that means that for the reverse nordic curl we are going to be hinging back from the knees for four seconds and then coming up for two seconds and then for the nordic curl we're going to be hinging forward from the knees for four seconds and then coming back up for two seconds once both sets have been completed then we are going to move on to the dynamic effort exercise the first one is going to be the pin squat for the pin squat as low as you can possibly squat you want to set the pins about one inch above that and for it, we're going to be doing one warm-up set of five repetitions using 25% of your one repetition maximum, a 3-2-X-O tempo, and resting 30 seconds. 3-2-X-O, that means that we are going to lower down toward the pin for three seconds. You're going to let the bar rest on the pins for two seconds, and then you're going to explode up immediately as fast as you can. Then we're going to move on to the working sets. We have eight working sets of two repetitions using 50% of your one repetition maximum, a 3-2-X-O tempo, so the same tempo that we did, and we're resting 30 seconds in between each set. Once all eight sets have been completed, we're on to our second dynamic effort exercise, and this is going to be the speed deadlift, specifically the podium deadlift. We have one warm-up set of five repetitions using 25% of your one repetition maximum, a 3-2-X-O tempo and resting 30 seconds. 3-2-X-O, that means we're lowering down toward the ground for three seconds, letting the bar rest at the ground for two seconds, and then exploding up immediately as fast as we can. Then we're going to move on to the working sets. We have eight working sets. They're all going to be singles, and we're going to perform them at 50% of your one repetition maximum at the same 3-2 XO tempo and resting 30 seconds in between each set. Then our D exercise is going to be an accessory exercise, and for the accessory exercise, we have the Swiss ball cable crunch, which we will perform for four sets of 12 to 15 repetitions using 66% of your one repetition maximum, a 2020 tempo, and resting for 60 seconds. That means that we are going to crunch forward for two seconds, and then we are going to unroll the spine for an additional two seconds. Once all four sets have been completed, then we're on to our next other exercise, and this is going to be the extensor chain wall lead. For it, you are going to perform one repetition, one set, you're going to just use your body weight, and this is going to be a static hold. You're going to hold it for 180 seconds. And if you've never done the extensor chain wall lead, this is terrific for anybody with forward head posture, neck pain, shoulder pain. And I did an exercise tutorial video for this a few years ago. You could check it out right up over here. But once you've done that, we're on to the F exercise, which is our other exercise or our cool down. And it's going to mimic what we did in the warm up. So no need to go over all of that again. And then lastly, we're going to pick the G, which is going to be a bonus exercise. For your bonus exercise, you're either A, going to pick an exercise that you're really, really good at, or B, pick an exercise that you're not good at, but you would like to get better at. For me, I'm really good at the app stone so that's what i chose and you're going to do one set of as many repetitions as possible you want to pick an atlas stone that is the same weight as your body for me i'm 150 pounds so i'm going to be using the 150 pound atlas stone and you're going to perform it explosively when performing the atlas stone you really want to explode through the hips that way you can generate as much power as possible and once you've completed that no need to rest because that's it for the workout and then next tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m i'm going to be taking you through the sunday workout that's going to be the dynamic effort chin up workout so be out on the lookout for that next tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m thanks for hanging around until the end of the video if you enjoyed the video be sure to like the video and comment down in the comment section so it would really help out with the algorithm and also share this video so we can help get this information out to as many people as possible and also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right hand corner and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos for those of you interested in health optimization, you can check out the video in the top right corner where I discuss the six foundation principles. And for those of you interested in optimizing your performance, then consider becoming a member. It's only $5 per month, and you get a ton of perks, including exclusive access to this program design lecture series playlist above my head.